Good afternoon everyone, this is Chrissy. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. Before me I have three needle books that I have just um, finished recently and uh, I'd like to show them here. Um, I'll start with this, they're all different. The whole three of them are quite different. Um, They're all the same construction, all about the same size. Um, I've stitched around each one with a blanket stitch that each one's the same um, the way that I've constructed them. This one is perhaps a little quirky. Um, it's a quilted fabric and uh, has a little bit of pretty fabric here on the edge. This is an L, L button and I've crocheted the cord to tie it closed, stitched it around in the same uh, pretty pink. And I find joy in the little things. I've stitched on here in a little patch in the back. Oops. Um, I crocheted this little heart and put another little patch on here. Uh, this is an unusual doily. Must have been for a cake plate, I think. It's got the word cake uh, stitched on it. So I've just embraced that as being a bit quirky and put that there. A um, little button card with some pretty star buttons. This is old lace here and here I've made a pocket with the same fabric as on the front and the back and stitched on some of this very wide rickrack braid and I crocheted this little heart, uh, flower sorry and where I've stitched on the patch here I've just embraced that little frame that it's made there on the wrong side. I don't mind the stitching coming through um, and I've stitched on with blanket stitch. Is it blanket stitch or is it just an overcast? just an overcast stitch. Uh, this little piece of quilted fabric put some pins in there. I like to call these not just a needle book because um, they're really a little bit more than just straight out needle book. This is a very pretty doily here. and some nice sheer fabric. This is a lovely old blanket that I have and I'm using in my needle books and it's as you'll see it's well worn on the edge but I've left the original blanket stitch in there because I, I just like that look of it being worn and coming out. And it had a tear in here up there and across there and so I've um, made a feature of it and I've darned it and uh, when I was doing that I was thinking of all the people that the blanket has probably kept warm over the years. Um, this one I've edged with more of that fabric and I've stitched a little um, daisy flower there in wool, some wool. Um, pretty lace here and some felt here for your pins and needles and I featured an owl button here on the front and I've also featured some owls throughout this little book. I did say it was a bit quirky so <laughs> it's um, yeah More of that fabric. There's a piece of that owl fabric. 
and this is a pocket here that I've pinned closed another little flower I've made I've been into um, crocheting these flowers and little hearts and um, cords for my books <coughs> excuse me cute fabric isn't it it's a piece of that same doily from the front this one I've um, done some blanket stitch on the edge there with some wool another little owl I've stitched on Uh, this one I've stitched in a little daisy flower more owls other side of that pretty doily more owls And then a pocket in the back with this pretty lace and a button card the cute button I like to think of these uh, books as being um, able to if anybody wanted to embellish them a little bit further um, with they could be embellished further if anyone wanted to um, that's a possibility or just not just leave them so that's that one this one is uh, I've called this one vintage this is beautiful old fabric here it's very you can tell it's old and um, I love the vibrant colors on it and I've um, stitched on another one of these flowers I've made with very colourful wool little patch I've stitched on uh, made a cord tie for this one as well and I love the button old button and then I've just stitched on that little piece of vintage tape there but they're very vibrant colours pocket with old lace that you probably can't see it it's sort of sort of a clearish type button and uh, they just tuck in there this is an old doily and I folded it up and made it into a pocket more buttons this fabric here uh, is from when I was used to cross stitch and I had obviously stitched this at some point on here and never gone any further with it it was just the stems so I've um, and I've done something there with that one with embroidery thread and then with the wool the same bright wool that I've used throughout this book I've um, just stitched some little flowers on there so that would be the perfect place if anybody wanted to embellish that further so I just left that piece on and um, embraced it and I've stitched a little bit of blanket stitch on that edge and this is a lovely doily that goes right through to the other side um, love the color of it this is a piece of I think this is a piece of canther stitching I 
um, this piece of fabric here you'll see it again as you know on the other side but it's actually in layers and it's all been canthus stitched together and it's very worn I think the top layer might be completely sort of worn off it so it's probably got a history but I just put that there because I thought it was very interesting here is another piece of that lovely old uh, blanket and I've edged that with some some of that lovely colourful wool lace this one is a piece of quilting that I've stitched on there and that's the stitching showing through see I quite like that this is another piece of wool here and I've made this little pouch here stitched it around with that same lovely colourful wool love the button a little bit of quirky here I like adding a little bit of quirkiness just something random isn't she cute an old yo-yo uh, here and then I've stitched around it here on this side and added a button in the middle and another pocket this is a piece of cross stitch here I didn't do it but uh, I just thought it was pretty stitch that on there stitch that flower there that's the other side of that piece of canther stitched fabric you can actually see the layers of fabric there I would suggest that that might be very old more of my crocheted flowers something could be added here if anybody wanted to embellish further it's the other side of that doily and another doily pocket on the back and I folded the fabric round and um, that's the back with a little that's just the corner of the doily folded over there and that lovely old fabric I really do like that so there's that one and then this one is very spring-like we're in spring here in Australia and uh, I thought this fabric was quite spring-like and colourful little heart there and the little birdie I stitched around him and uh, made him sort of pop I don't know if you can see that but he's been stitched around and I've stitched his little feet and his beak and his eye uh, 
um, I folded the fabric around and stitched on that a little bit of fabric trim here. This is a doily that I've made into a pocket. And this one I've edged with some tape measure tape. Another flower here. This is just a little piece of uh, doily. I've stitched it on the corner and done some little embroidered daisies there. Some crosses down that piece of felt. Uh, another piece of quilted fabric there that I've blanket stitched around and on the back I've just added another corner of that doily just stitched it on there um, felt and then a little piece of fabric edging this is a piece of a doily here and I've done some running stitches along the top um, this is a, a doily that I've made into a pouch, I won't open it, but uh, that's another one of my crocheted flowers, other side of that doily, it's got the most exquisite little, you probably won't see it, uh, but lovely fine stitching. Out pocket two button cards piece of old doily here that I stitched in. little embroidered flower there stitched on felt and another little daisy there um, the wool blanket with the old stitches left in it and then I've just embroidered it on it and stitched on a piece of pretty ribbon there's another piece of that I love these little Tufts of old blanket stitch left in. There's that lovely fabric. And the other side of that doily that went right through from the front. And this one just closes with a loop over the button that was the back so there they are three um, different needle books which I thoroughly enjoyed stitching uh, they will be in my Etsy shop and thank you very much for joining me today I hope everyone is well Thank you for your comments and um, for subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.